Good morning, internets. I'm starting out the morning at 50 degrees. That's 5-0 with 36 miles battery only range on the 2012 Chevy Volt Premium for those of you keeping score at home. And thank you so much for sending me your data. Um, I want to say a quick shout out to all the new subscribers on the channel that um, have... Uh, have subscribed in the last couple of days. Thank you so much for deciding to subscribe and for enjoying the videos. And I want to let you guys know that um, you can comment on any of the videos, um, any suggestions or requests you have for content ideas, for things that you want to see covered, things you want to see me talk about, um, places that you'd like to know more about in Las Vegas or Southern Nevada um, in general. And I will do my best to make those videos for you. So welcome to the channel and thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, really glad you're here. Uh, what I want to talk to you guys about this morning was, um, as you saw yesterday, um, I was given the opportunity to go to Finlay Chevrolet and review in person um, and, and get to drive both the brand new um, 20, 2018 uh, Chevy Bolt and Chevy Volt, the newer version of the car that I'm in now, um, thanks to Steve McGee at Finlay Chevy, and I, I really appreciate that. I have an opportunity to go to some other dealerships and also review their EVs and hybrids, um, but, you know, I was talking to um, uh, one of the customers in the sales room um, about that, and, you know, he asked me what I'm doing there with my cameras, and and this and that, and we got to talking, and I explained, like, oh, well, I'm here to talk about um, electric vehicles and hybrid cars um, for my YouTube channel, because that's what I'm interested in, and that's what I do, and I want to bring people more information about that, and um, he's like, oh, my God, that's amazing. What about um, stuff for people like me? Are you going to review other cars? And I said, well, you know, I hadn't really thought about that. Um, is that something that you think would be a good idea? I mean, there's a lot of people out there reviewing new cars um, and things like that. And he goes, yeah, but not everybody can um, reasonably, because of their lifestyle or whatever, not everybody can reasonably get an electric or a hybrid car right now. Um, so what about some of the more fuel efficient options that there are out there and how they work? Because um, you seem to, you know, be pretty good at communicating information about cars. And, um, you know, there's a lot more out there than just EVs and, and hybrids. And they're not, they're not for everybody just yet. You know, what if, what if you were to look at other cars? Um, and you know, I thought about that and I was like, well, you know what? I think I'm going to have to leave that up to the subscribers. And I really want to know what you guys think. Um, now I, I like the main focus of the channel being on electric cars and electric car technology and hybrid cars and the things that we can do with them and the lifestyle associated with those things. Um, and, and the way that the future is changing, moving away from internal combustion, moving towards electric. Um, but there's still, Chevrolet is still producing all kinds of gas and diesel operated things. There's all kinds of different, um, vehicles that aren't necessarily electric or hybrid. There's, I mean, there's a Chevy Silver, Silverado that's electric assist that doesn't have an alternator, but, um, uses, you know, an electric motor in place of the alternator, um, through some sort of crazy wizard wizardry to improve fuel economy that way. Um, and I thought that that was something that was interesting. And, you know, there's a lot of other vehicles out there. So what would you guys think about not only continuing to, um, work to get access to newer and different electric cars and hybrid cars, but also newer and different, um, traditional ice cars, but with the focus being on fuel efficiency and really figuring out what those cars can do and really being able to, to compare them to EVs. Um, the, the EVs and the hybrids are, they are remarkable and that's definitely where my heart's at. Um, and I think it would be cool to get to drive more cars and get to see more cars, but it would especially be cool to get to compare. Um, you know, once we've, sat in, um, and driven a whole bunch of different EVs and hybrids. Okay. Well, how does that compare to, um, you know, the diesel Chevy Equinox? How does that compare to, um, you know, the, the, you know, Chevy Cruze, you know, how, how do these things really compare? Where do the numbers really line up and how do they compare comfort wise? How do they compare practicality wise for, for what we can do with these machines and what they're capable of? I really want to know those things, but if it's something that, um, my subscribers aren't going to enjoy if it's something that you guys are not interested in then it's I'm it's not anything that I'm really gonna bother with um, so I really want to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comments down below um, I have access now to um, a couple of different dealerships and I'd like to do more videos like that um, the like the one that you saw yesterday um, and it's important to me to get as much information out there as possible um, but if covering 
ICE vehicles for the purpose of comparing them to EVs is not something that you guys think would be valuable or useful, then it's not something that I'll bother with. But please, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I think that's going to about do it for me today. I really want to know what you guys think. Um, and again, welcome new subscribers. Thank you so, so much for being here. And your input really does matter. So anything that you say in the comments, I read all my comments. You guys can email me at um, uh, evsofnevada at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and put put that email address down below in the description. Um, you can send me messages on Twitter or on Instagram with the same at. I'll put all that information down below in the description. I love interacting and I love having an open dialogue with my subscribers and that's what it's all about. So um, make sure to keep that conversation going and uh, thank you so much. And I think that's going to do it for me today. So, um, and if this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing right over here and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Here's some other videos I think you'll enjoy right down here. My name is Catherine with EVs of Nevada. I hope everybody's having a really great day. And please remember to like, subscribe, and smile.